Hey yo, what's up? You know who it is. It's the one and the only, the triple the G O D. And of course, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show. That show we love and we call up right here. Die of the Game. What everybody doing today? I'd like to welcome y'all to another special Entry Zero of the Diary. You know when I do the Entry Zero thing, you know I got some life lessons to deal out. I got some old man stories to tell. This one has a point. They all do, and they all they all have their place and their reasoning. But there's a lot of history that I need to get out there. And for you, and for you, son, there's a lesson at the end of this somewhere. I promise you. It's a lesson that I need you to learn. It's very important. But for right now, I'm going to talk to the rest of you two. So, son, just sit there and chill out. Everybody else, y'all do the same. A long time ago, in the universe far, far away, there was the internet. And for the internet for a long time, there were people that provided the service of mirroring videos from various places on the internet to bring them to YouTube where there was a central place for everybody to watch them. Right now, I want to shout out some of them cats that I remember in places where I used to watch the crap that I love to see. I want to shout out, I want to shout out to the big homie So85, man. A legend when it comes to this right here. I'm like, if there was a combo video somewhere on the internet that wasn't YouTube he made the sacrifice of bringing that to you on YouTube and he did it with a smile on his face until he decided until he decided that he was done with the game and he went about his business I had a critical conversation with him a couple years ago when I had the opportunity and the privilege to let him know man that you inspired me to get in the game and I just wanted to let him know when I got a chance to say thank you for that and I'm doing it right now live on the internet. I want to I wanna shout out shout out to the big homie Stock the Stormlock, man. I'm like, one of the first match videos I ever seen on YouTube was how I learned about the existence of a game that I love so much now. That I might know it as the Rumblefish. That video is on YouTube still to this day. And I randomly just watched it just for nostalgia's sake. Not for any reason to learn anything from the video. Just because I remember that video for what it was. Speaking of the game that I am narrating over, SNK vs. Capcom Match of the Millennium. If you wanted to watch SNK video, there were two spots that you went for that. You either saw your latest favorite SNK fighter, namely for me, Neo Geo Battle Call Sam, because I probably cannot count the hours that I spent in between printing out facts for all my favorite fighting games at the library, how much Neo Geo Battle Call Sam a nigga watched on Cyber Fanatics. And if Cyber Fanatics didn't have what you needed, the folks at Orochi Nagi had it. So if you were looking for your SNK fix, that's where you got it. A special bit of history for a certain person, you know what I'm saying? Just so that you know that because I'm assuming that because of where you were or when you got in the game, that if you wanted a Mikado video, there was a dude whose name for the life of me I can't remember. His thing on SRK was going to Mikado and bringing back Mikado stuff and putting it on YouTube for the world to see. Because back in the day before Mikado had a YouTube channel, which they only got a couple of years ago, was that in order for you to get a Mikado video, you had to know the special URL and the password in which to unlock the page to download the video. That's what the game used to be. And this is before I got it. That in order for you to get certain videos, you had to know where to go what to do and how to do it. And these people that I've named and so many countless others that, that if I missed you, I'm sorry, is that they made that sacrifice to make sure that they made it easy for you to get a hold of this crap. Yo, shout out to the secret Evo. Shout out to the the, the secret the secret Evo spot. If you if you were OG, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, you know exactly what I say when I say it. Just shout that out for the one time, and I'm going to say it. But like I said, long before I got in the game and did what I did with it, there were people that were doing it before me. And I thank those people because I picked that ball up and I ran with it. And I owed y'all that. But here's the part where yours truly 
steps in the game. At the point when I stepped into the, when I stepped into the game, I was already kind of in it because this was the time when I wore that crown. King of the Dojo videos had that crown cocked to the side like Sora on the Kingdom Hearts cover. I was the king and you can hold L's if you don't believe me, but that was the case. You can go, if, if that thread still exists on SRK somewhere, it was a point to where when there was a video on the dojo, Rex Soprano, he got it, we ain't even gotta watch it. He'll have it up on YouTube in about 10 or 15 minutes, and that's when the brawl, that's when the dojo was overrun, you couldn't even get in. It's like, hell, there were other videos, I'm like, just to, just to continue the history lesson, is if you guys look on the channel, there is a Blaze Blue video that I'm infamous for that the description simply says, Blaze Blue's hotter, sexier, thicker cousin, right? Guilty girl. In that, you used to have to have this special, this special Japanese tool that you needed in order to download the stream to turn it into a video that you could then upload. That was how serious the game was back in the day, that you needed all this type of different tech. You had to know this and you had to know that. Hell, if we gonna sit up here and we gonna speak on the dojo video just to put a little history lesson, just so we can get into it. In order to, back in the day before I had some more sophisticated tech, do you wanna know how a video got from a place to you when it came through me? All you have to do is follow these simple steps, which don't even exist anymore. Step one, you need some patience for what's about to be step two. What you would have to do, if you saw a video you wanted that you that you want to upload, or just download for your own sake, for your own personal use or whatever, you would have to hit play on the video and you would have to watch that thing buff until it was done. If you knew where the temp folder, where the file ended up, you could then open that temp folder and whatever, whatever OS you use it, and then you could get that video, put it on your hard drive where you could access it and then do whatever you got. That was the game for a good year for me. Dojo videos, match videos, random things that weren't things that came from either Arc System Works and Namco Bandai that are back in the day anytime before before like the middle of 09. That's how I was getting videos before I acquired some, some more sophisticated tech like I said. Let's bring this let's bring this back in the loop for a minute. At this juncture, I got the crown, right? King of the Dojo Viz, right? The dojo had ran its course at this point. Brawl just came out in Japan. People were sitting up here like, we want to see this shit, but don't nobody have a Nico account. Just so happens a couple of weeks before that, there was a nice little thread on SRK that told you step by step on how to get a Nico account and it's not, and it was like a very arduous fucking process. This is when you had to like, fake actually living in Japan by knowing like addresses and crazy shit. It's like the thread actually provided all that. I have no idea if the thread on SRK still exists now, but it was a big giant picture that had like MS Paint circles, like type exactly what we say right here. People was in that thread like, the fuck? Nah, me, I'm like, I can use the tool in the toolbox, so why the fuck not? So I went and I did that. Going forward back to where we were, that infamous old thread. I, beca I became a legend in that thread. I'm not sitting up for tooting my own horn because Cass was in that thread requesting video after video. And I, just told, and I just sold you the game earlier about how videos got from where they were to how they got to you. I had to sit up here and hit a video, hit play on a Nico video and wait for that thing to, and wait for that thing to finish buffering, and this is what my idiot ass was still using IE when IE was like complete other shit at the time, and this is when, you know, DSL was like semi-decent, but it wasn't like that real good shit. You was waiting a while. There is a specific video that I remember, and I challenge anybody to go find it. It should be easy to find. I think the video was called The Neat. I want to shout out to the homie White Shadow because SRK, we the motherfucking best. 
back in the day before all that crazy shit happened, before I grew up a little bit, man, yo, I was SR SRK ride or die. I was thinking about getting getting an SRK chain. I wanted everything, because I roll, I roll for my hood, though, because, you know, I'm like, one of these days, I'm going to I'm a have to get together all all the people I can find from the SNK Playmore forums, because we got some stories to tell your ass, man. But at that point in time, SRK, that was home, dog, and, and one of these days, another one of these Entry Zero videos is going to be telling that story between what happened for when the 09 floor happened, because that's a, that's a story that, you know, I could tell for hours. But the point is, I challenge you to go find that the knee video. Shout out to the homie White Shadow for the one time. That's all I'm going to say on that, and I'm going to say it once again. And that was the game for a long while that... I did what I did and we got to a point to where we got to. I want to push this timeline up to March 2012 because that's where the next part of this story takes place. At this point, I have told this story that anybody who don't know, things you shouldn't do. You shouldn't download Guardian Heroes off Mexican Xbox Live because Sega of Japan gets pitched for reasons when you make videos about it. That put my channel in a weird fucking limbo, and it was like, at this point, I had already created the Diary of a Game Boy backup channel. I already had that, and had videos backed up to it, and there's a story we can tell about that, too. But, March 2012, there was a game that came out, you guys know it, as Persona 4, The Ultimate in Monaco Arena. I was trying to figure out, how in the hell am I going to cover this video game? So I decided that I'm going to create a channel and I'm going to what I thought in my head was the three prong attack. The main channel was going to be just for trailers. I had the Diary of a Game War channel that was going to be for videos like you are watching now just so that I could do all of that because originally it was going to be a backup channel and then it became something else and then this channel got partnered and all and that moved over there because plans changed. And DOA Jace the Dojo was just going to be covering match videos because the things I was getting knocked for. That's how I learned about Sega and how they have some stake in Melty Blood. Did you know that Namco Bandai owns Neo Geo Battle Coliseum? Well, YouTube thinks they do because I got I got a not a copyright strike, but the, the, the a video of Neo Geo Battle Costume got worldwide banned by Namco Bandai. Because that shit that happens. That is shit that happens to your boy. Here, here's a note for all you upcoming YouTube niggas. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say y'all another piece of the game. If you trying to upload videos that have Japanese people singing, avoid the shit. Because you will get knocked for it. You will get knocked for it. I'm just letting your ass know. But that was the game for a long time. I was providing this service before I had moved shop. A lot of people didn't know I moved shop, but thanks to a Neo Gaff thread, people learned that I moved shop. And that's what it was for a while. I just did what I love to do. I love sharing videos. I love being the person that if that was a match video for a game that wasn't getting covered by whoever, whoever those people are, because I wouldn't dare nag your old punk asses because it don't make no sense because y'all don't want that beef or that war or no problem with your boy. But, my thing has always been being the other side of the coin. I upload match videos for games because I want to keep the playing field fair. Every game deserves its time in the spotlight. Every game does. And DOA Jace the Dojo provided that service. I provided that service by uploading match videos for every fucking fighting game you can name. You can go on this channel right now. If there was a fighting game that came out in between 2008 and 2011, there is a match video for that game, at least one minimum for that game somewhere if that video did not get taken down but for, for some weird ass copyright reason. Because that's what I did. Because I don't discriminate. Because that was the time between 2006 and 2007, I probably played every fighting game down there that I could emulate somehow or go and buy off eBay. That's how I know so much, because I've experienced these things. So now you know the secret. In order for you to learn something, go experience the shit. Here's the point, though. Sunday Folas 
the train for DOA Jason Dojo came to a screeching halt because somebody decided in their own malicious way we are going to tell YouTube that you fooled me into watching a video of Persona for the Ultimax Ultra Suplex hole by saying, by misrepresenting the video. And I'm like, how the fuck do I misrepresent a video when I don't rename videos when they stay as close to their Nico, their Nico counterparts as possible? And I'm going to sell you out a game on this. I do that simply because if you Google a... A, a um a title from a DOAJ the dojo thing, it will always pop up the Nico video first, and then my video at the bottom of the first page or somewhere on the second page. So you always see the sort of video before you see mine if you were to ever Google. It. So there you go. There's the game for that. So I'm sitting up here figuring out how do you fool people. I'm like I just wanted to just upload my Blade Arc and some shine and then KOF 95 videos because you know that's what I want to do. And somebody took that away from me. Yeah, I was very, very, very motherfucking upset. And I was going through all the motions. And I went through it. It's like, it, it, it was the stages of loss. Because it's like, I was going through the motions. Like, I went outside. When it prayed about it, I was so mad. Because I wanted to rip somebody's head off. Because how can somebody just maliciously take away something that I love and just do it? In just a way where it don't matter to you, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, whatever. Though that same that same motion I was going through led into the Soul Calibur Lost Swords video that's gonna turn into a review before the game gets shut down. I'm like that Thursday before, you know, I was still in my feelings. And shout out to my boy Sonny, cause I'm like. That tweet, to, that, that tweet back to you after you said, man, that you know that about whatever was that I told him I was in my feelings about it. Once I admitted I was in my feelings about it, it was like, I know what I had to do. So I sat up, did a lot of brainstorming. I got up Saturday morning and I learned that YouTube wants to, wants everything, you know what I'm saying? to get you a YouTube channel. We need to know your name, your address, your phone number, your birth certificate, all this shit. And then you still gotta do a whole bunch of shit to get the channel the way you want it after you get the channel. So it's like, the point is, like I said, DOAGH The Shop now exists in the place of DOAGH The Dojo and the link will be, the link will be in the description so you guys can subscribe if you want. The point of the video wasn't to say DOAGH The Shop exists as much as I wanted this history on wax. Not only for the fact that you get to listen to this history, but for the point that I'm about to make now. Son, if you're listening to Daddy, I need you to listen very closely to what it is I'm about to say to you. No matter what, you don't give up on who you love or what you love for any reason. If you love something and it moves you, you let it move you into whatever direction you move to. That's the lesson for you, son. Hell, that's the lesson for anybody that want to take it. I love providing that service and I do it with love in my heart because I love fighting games and I love sharing them with you. And that was the point of this whole video. So now, that is the game that is the history, and that's that. Cool on the way out. More match in the millennium coming, because I got some things to show about this game, including a little combo thing, man. So Triple the Guy gonna explain it all and all that. But yo, I'm moving work, I'm moving work like we never stop. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because there are things that need my attention. Cool to be out tomorrow, like I said, so be watching for that. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I am, of course, the one and the only, the triple, the G, O, D. And, of course, this is your favorite YouTube show. The show we love and we call around here. Die every game whore. I'll holler at you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>